Hey Grace Posse, welcome back to the Daily Devotion. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to be talking about when you're awake. Our focal passage is going to come from 2 Chronicles 16 verse 9, which says, For the eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to Him. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. Every year around Christmas time, various pieces of the physics of Santa Claus make their rounds on social media. Here are some of the highlights. Santa visits an estimated 500 million households worldwide on Christmas Eve. He has about 31 hours from the first sundown just west of the international date line to just before dawn in the east uh, of there to make his deliveries. The average distance between households targeted by Santa is about two tenths of a mile. He has to reach 10,000 households every 2.23 seconds. Even if Santa could make each delivery instantaneously, he still needs to travel 6,400 miles per hour. What about Santa having to determine if children are good or bad? If he had to monitor 500 million children worldwide and can make a valid judgment with a check of 30 seconds per child every year, a pretty tall order. He would have to watch 475 children simultaneously. Every second. God, of course, doesn't just check in periodically on the subset of the world's children. His eyes range throughout the whole earth to watch everyone, everywhere, all the time. He knows how much more than who did something good or bad on the checklist. His eyes see not just actions but motives. He sees the heart. Why does God watch us constantly? It is not to catch us being bad so that he can give us a lump of coal for our Christmas stocking. It's not to catch us doing bad things. God watches us because He loves us and wants a deep and lasting relationship with each one of us. By knowing every facet of our lives, God knows just how to help when we are struggling. He is already ready to strengthen us when we rely on Him completely. So let's look at this passage and verse in context, 2 Chronicles chapter 16, verses 7 through 9. And at the time Hananiah, the seer, came to Asa, king of Judah, and said to him, Because you relied on the king of Syria, you did not and did not rely on the Lord your God, the army of the king of Syria has escaped you. Were, were not the Ethiopians and the Libyans a huge army with which many chariots and horsemen Yet because you relied on the Lord, he gave them into your hand. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to give strength and support to those whose heart are blameless towards him. You have done foolishly in this, and for now on you will have wars. So let's look at a related passage over in Psalm 34 verses 11 through 19. It says, Come, O children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there who desires life and loves many days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous and his ears toward the cry, their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil to cut off the memory of them from the earth. 
When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. So let's look at some questions that we can reflect on and draw some application from. How often do you consider the fact that God is with you and watching you at all times? Does that thought give you comfort or make you uneasy? And why? When you think about God watching you, what image or images come to your mind? For example, loving father or joyous taskmaster, joyless taskmaster. Why do you have the, these images? What things does God see in your life that makes him proud of you? And what things does God see or do God, you think God might want to chat with you about? So let's go to our Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, you watch over us because you care for us deeply. Keep our eyes on our steps and strengthen us for the journey. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys, and I'll see you next time.